Once upon a time, there were three little pigs named Pinky, Percy and Porky. They were all siblings and decided that it was time to leave their mother's house and build homes of their own. Pinky, the youngest and most carefree of the three, decided to build her house out of straw. It's light and easy to put together, she thought. In no time at all, Pinky's straw house was finished, and she moved in, pleased with her quick work. Percy, the middle sibling, was a bit more cautious. He chose to build his house out of sticks, thinking it would be stronger than straw, but still not too difficult to build. After a little more effort, Percy's stick house was complete, and he too moved in, feeling satisfied. Porky, the eldest and wisest of the three, decided to build his house out of bricks. It will take longer and be harder work, Porky thought, but it will be strong and safe. Porky worked diligently for many days until his sturdy brick house was finally finished. He was very proud of his solid home. One day, the big bad wolf came to the area where the three little pigs lived. He was hungry and had heard about the tasty pigs living in their new houses. The wolf first came to Pinky's straw house. He knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig! Let me come in. But Pinky replied, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. The wolf frowned and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. With a great breath, the wolf blew the straw house down and Pinky had to run as fast as she could to Percy's house of sticks. The wolf, still hungry, soon came to Percy's stick house. He knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But Percy replied, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. The wolf sneered and said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. He blew with all his might and the stick house collapsed. Percy and Pinky ran as fast as they could to Porky's brick house. The wolf, now very hungry and very determined, followed them to Porky's brick house. He knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. But Porky, standing strong with his siblings, replied, No, no, by the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. The wolf growled, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. He huffed and puffed. But no matter how hard he tried, the brick house stood firm. The wolf blew until he was out of breath. But the house did not budge. Realising he could not blow the brick house down, the wolf decided to climb down the chimney to get inside. But clever Porky had anticipated this and quickly lit a roaring fire in the fireplace. As the wolf came down the chimney, he fell right into a pot of boiling water that Porky had placed there. With a yelp, the wolf sprang out of the pot and ran away, never to bother the three little pigs again. Pinky, Percy and Porky were safe at last. They lived happily ever after in Porky's strong brick house, grateful for their brother's wisdom and the lesson they had learned. Hard work and planning pay off in the end.